we've learned a lot. So, to sum it up, there's a tragic incident with people cursing each other for the Rite of Resurrection in the Edo period as well. And the Record of Fates, the Inscroll, may have what we, info we want, since it details how to stop the Rite. I think that's about it. Right. If we could just find the Inscroll, we might be able to find how to settle this situation. But even Mr. Araishi didn't have any leads on where it is. How do we start looking for it? Someone involved in this now must have some connection to it, I think. I have a feeling that the mastermind who awakened the curses is involved too. Right. Uh, about what to do next. So, Mio, what are we gonna do next? Good question. It may be best to give the information we just learned to Expe Inspector Tsutsumi. We got a pretty big clue from hearing about the Rector of Fates, the Inscroll. Mr. Tsutsumi might know more about it. Should we go back to school then? Yeah, that's our point of contact after all. About the Mastermind. Uh, whoever's behind that voice gave Mr. Araishi the Record of Fates. That must be the Mastermind, don't you think? Yeah, and it sounded sound like it belonged to a woman. Whoever it is, I bet they're scary. Huh? You don't sound like the Yakko I know. And let's catch him and make him spill the beans. I thought you'd say something like that. Really? I guess I'm not really feeling that confident right now. I understand. A woman. Well, the only suspicious woman we know is Soap's chairwoman. I don't know if it's related to the woman behind the voice, but I'm also interested in the female in Miyagi who is the rival of Seimen. In the area? Oh, that reminds me, Mio. You know it's nearby here, don't you? Hmm? Oh, you mean where Michio? Yeah, where it happened. I was going there every day to leave flowers. Even though they'd always get cleared away anyways. I'm sure it must have been hard to be reminded of Michio's death all the time. Well, that reminds me. Yako. Yeah? When you asked me to do the spirit board two days ago, did you come here that day too? Someone was no, someone was crushed, I believe, that death. Yeah, I lost some flowers before going to school. Why? Did anything seem different that day? What's this all of a sudden? Oh, now that you mention it. That day, I suddenly felt lightheaded and ended up passing out for a little bit. But I came to right away and felt fine, so I didn't think of anything of it. I see. That's all I was wondering about. Thanks. Huh. Excuse me, you girls over there. Uh... I think this is the right hand. Oh no! Ooh, wow. Ooh, that's unexpected. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to eavesdrop, but something you said caught my attention. Um, and who might you be? I'm Yutaro Namigaki. Um, I should probably tell you. Until yesterday I was a curse bearer. That should clear things up. Nope, can't get the voice. A curse bearer? No, oh, you, you don't need to be scared. I've already given up the curse stone of the foot washing mansion. Foot washing mansion? So you're the one Inspector Tsutsumi was talking about. That was actually something I wanted to bring up. In editing, I... It's interesting to hear what... What the cursed stone about his said. It wasn't rather hear the stone. But rather his... Means of... I could just show you. Wow, seven mysteries. What was it called? Why can't I think? Foot washing machine. Kills the one, 
just by crushing one who hears the command wash. Which isn't exactly what we heard last time. Or it was whoever heard it would be crushed or something like that. Anyways, might be, you know, might be specific or might not be relevant at all. But I figured that was a point of interest to bring up. Ah, so you already know Inspector Tsutsumi. That makes it simple, there's nothing to worry about. Oh, hey. You're... in the driver's seat. Echo? Yes, wait, what? Just now, was I... was I doing something? I'm sorry, Mr. Navagaki. What might be the matter? Oh, wait, so... Wait, so they just gave it away right then and there? Okay, but why? Alright, I actually want to discuss something with you two. Would you come to come with me if you have a little time? Discuss something with us? We're talking about Michio Shiraishi, right? It's related to that. Huh? I'm sure you'd learn a few things yourselves. If not now, later it's fine. I'll be waiting around the Ryogoku Bridge. Something rubs me the wrong way about this, but imagine Michio. What do we do? Go to school first. Sorry, but there's something we got got to take care of. We have to pass. Oh, I was hoping to. Is that so? Well, that's too bad. I'm in no rush, so I'll be waiting at Ryogoku Bridge if you change your minds. Ah! Fork! Fork! Okay. Okay, sure. Could change there, that's injury. Oh, well I guess if it's blank we might be doing something else. Okay. Okay. So they're gonna meet at the school, I assume. Okay. Standing by, so I'm gonna assume these two are gonna meet. In fact, these two stars connected. Why not? Why not? At the Shiraishi home, Tatsumi and Erio learned the truth about many things, including the death of Kanki Kankichiro Iwai. They hurried to the high school after learning that Michio Shiraishi knew the whereabouts of Nijima's hideout. This should be interesting. Because we'll finally learn- th well, well, the characters will finally learn the revelation of... Michio. Come and get a high. Boss! I just talked to the Sumida police. So, what now? They found an abandoned van in the Chiba Mountains that looked like it had been in an accident. Alright, they're searching everywhere for a killer. They couldn't find any fingerprints on it, but they found blood spatters on the front. And guess what? The blood's a perfect match for Michio's. It's like a random revelation to get here and now. Oh ho. So that's what must be the van that hit Michio. You got it. It's all thanks to Yoshimi that we were able to find that out. The license plate had been removed though, and they even scrapped off the scraped off the vehicle identification number. It'll be a while to identify the owner. Now we're trying to figure out if the van was sighted anywhere between the scene of the crime and where it was dumped. Got it. Thanks for the report. I guess we still can't rule out the possibility that Michio did commit suicide. She was so young, and all the adults in her life did, did was push her around. It's nice we got permission to use the school as their base of operations. The principal and head teacher were a little reluctant at first, but they are convinced that it would help the investigation. Dealing with all this must be a real headache for those guys. I should thank them again later. Looking for birds. Bird watching. 
of a different sort. Bird. Mockingbird number 15. Then we got five of them. I don't think we'll get all of them, but hey, we'll do a search, I guess. He still doesn't look tired after this running around. I wish I still had all that stamina. By the way, boss, we confirmed that Meteo died in a vehicular collision. But are we sure that wasn't really an accident? Good question. I was wondering the same thing. The damage done by the collision indicates that the driver is traveling at a considerable speed, but there are no brake marks to be found. Exactly, which suggests they may have been intentionally targeting Michio. Then what is the motive, you think? Who would have a reason to kill Michio? First person that comes to mind is Kankichiro Iwai. After all, she knew about his crimes. But then Iwai was supposed supposedly able to control Michio by intimidation alone. There is also that teacher who was talking, taking advantage of Michio, Kohei Jonouchi. But to say he killed her to stop people from figuring out he was blackmailing her doesn't seem likely somehow. You're right. Though both of them have on parade or a curse. That's true. In that case, it's quite possible she was, she'll also decide who to exact revenge on the person who ran her over. Not just possible, she may have already done it last night, just like with Eli. Is there anything else that could have served as a motive? Talisman, maybe. The one Yoshimi was looking for? No. Do you think someone wants to take it from her? Well, the talisman, the bab, wasn't found on our remains, not nor in our house. Hmm. But doesn't a hit and run seem like too drastic a measure to go for a little talisman? That and you'd need to hit the brakes. I think. And in the end, it might have just been an unfortunate accident after all. Yeah, it looks that way. Once again, going back to the spirit board scene, it's hard to tell whether, you know, the accident was an accident. I think the board did say it was an accident, though Yako's questions were a little too specific for us to figure out what the details were about on that. Either way, what we need now is a testimony from Michio herself. With a bit of luck, we may be able to ask her what happened during the crash ourselves. Yeah, I can't wrap my head around that particular development. I may still have my doubts that th it'll be so easy. Either way, we won't be able to do this unless Mia and Yako turn up. Okay, so they're just outright saying it. Which is good, they've been talking about it forever, it feels. Then again, well, it's only been like two or three scenes. I'd rather have them come sooner rather than later, but... I guess we just have to wait. Shall we head inside? Alright then. Let's move. Nothing else? Oh hey, Erio. I wanted to ask you something. Aye aye, boss. Jeez, you're an eager beaver. I haven't even said what it is yet. Right, then... Well, what is it then? Can't remember what you had for dinner last night? Looks like that agent over there is having some trouble with his pen. So if you got a spare, lend it to him. And for the record, I had Capsidon last night. No need to worry about me going see now just yet. Ah, oh, I know I look genius, but I don't think I come across as a type to carry some spare pens on my person. You, a genius, you're dreaming. But if his pen just stop working, he could get it going again with a bit of nail polish remover. Huh. Andy. Nail polish remover. Yeah, you know. What you used to remove nail polish. Never used it before? It would look like I would've. Don't make it, me sound crazy for not having used the stuff. I doubt you have either. Oh no, I've used it alright. Did you know that it could remove all oil-based ink stains? Which is also why it could be used to fix old dried up pen nibs. 
Whatever he's in there, Darmus the Ink also doubles as a way to unclog pens. Huh, good to know. Still, wouldn't call you a genius, but it's something. You gotta make use. You gotta make sure the, the remover doesn't mix with the ink, though, or it'll ruin it. Doesn't that defeat the purpose? Not to worry, I don't have nail polish remover on me right now anyway. Oh, no problem then. That doesn't fix anything. Long story short, I don't have a spare pen. Jeez, alright, I'll let him know. Random talk, love it. Boss, I thought we were going to wait for Mio in the school. No, we pop 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 uh, right in the school, in the school we go, in school. Alright, let's wait inside the school. I'm sure they'll be here at any moment. 